Shalom. First and foremost, we'd like to start off by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bashim Yahushai Bashim Rechakodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Green Millstone. Salutation to the Yaki of pushing this word with truth and sincerity with charity. All right, we're the brothers from Great Millstone, Chicago, coming at you with our lesson, Lord willing, and be edifying. And we just want to hit this um, the topic on the trouble, the trouble, the trouble coming. All right, we're living in some some evil times, and we we gotta understand what time we're living in. Like I told you in the book of Second Edges nine and one, you know you gotta be vigilant. You gotta know what times we're living in, and knowing that yeah, how about Shimei Oshai is the only way out of all the madness that's gonna come to here. America and really uh, uh, worldwide. I want to start off with the book of uh, Isaiah 55 and 6. Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Call upon him while he is near. Alright, because it says, Let the wicked forsake his ways and the unrighteous man his thoughts, and let him return unto the Lord, and he will have mercy upon him and to our and to our power, for he will abundantly abundantly pardon them. Because this what people are doing nowadays is just following after their flesh, all right? Being being stuck uh, stuck on wickedness that is not going to profit them at the end. It's going to lead them to their own destruction. Pleasing how about Shimei Oshai and, and seeking after him is the only way how we'll receive uh, salvation and mercy because it is only given by him. Yeah, where's the book? No, yeah, hey, um... Because everybody else is, is not doing anything towards Yahweh by Shemi And that's the reason why the Lord is coming uh, uh, to judge uh, this place. So right now he has his hand extended so that those that don't want to get caught up in his madness, in this, in this uh, uh, destruction that the Lord is about to bring upon this place, you know, so um, they, uh, they could uh, return. You know, so that's, that's why the, it's, right now is the time to be found. The fact that we're able to do these lessons, the fact that we're able to outside... To go outside and preach the fact that you're still able to hear us you know the lord the lord is still ha having his hand out there but soon as based on how the prophecies and everything's manifesting right now and all the things that are happening around the world we know that that time is short you know so you don't want to play uh, uh uh with the lord right now or else you are going to get caught up and you're going to be a uh, 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 stubble to the fire mm -hmm. you know because you know how people tell uh, when you tell them that in the end is near that the uh, people will agree to the prophecies written in the scriptures, but they'll say it won't happen in their lifetime. Yeah. You know, they don't want to get right now, but that's the perfect time to get right as soon as you can. You go ahead, you go ahead. Okay. This is uh, Hosea. I'm going to start at 4. Verse 1. Uh, it says, Hear the word of Yahweh, ye children of Israel. For the Lord had a controversy with the inhabitants of the land. And controversy means what? A, a problem, an altercation, you know? Uh, he, you know, he, he has something against us, you know, his people. Because first and foremost, that's who he's dealing with. And that's who's supposed to be righteous. And, and our people are going completely contrary to that. And not just that, just the whole world in general. Nobody is reverencing Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. Nobody is following his laws. You know, they they, they 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 take his loss for not as a thing of not as, as something that uh, uh, doesn't mean anything. You know, so most has a problem with it, and and soon he's gonna deal with that problem. You know, it says because there is no truth, nor mercy, nor knowledge of Yahweh in the land, and that's uh, especially here in America. That's around the whole world, but especially here in America, man. There's no truth, no knowledge, no mercy of, of the Lord. So the so because people are only waxing worse and worse the lord is going to have to step in and take care and, and take care of all of them man you know and, and it's not going to be a light thing to where he just does something like a slap in the hand no he's going to make sure you suffer for everything you've done if you don't repent it says by swearing and lying and killing and stealing and committing adultery they break out and blood touch it blood man nothing but a bunch of murderers adulterers running around man you know, so the Lord, because of, the, because of that, the Lord is going to come and, and set his foot down, man. Your your worst nightmare is about to come alive, man. I believe in, it's in Isaiah. I forgot what chapter, but it says he'll, he'll bring your own delusions upon you. You know, 
And if you feel like you're Mr. Badass and you don't fear anything, well, guess what? The Lord will create something in that day that will make you act like a woman, man. Mm -hmm. The Lord said that even, that the women are gonna, that the mighty men shall be as women in that day. You know? So the Lord ain't playing. It says, therefore shall the land mourn and everyone that dwelleth therein shall languish, right? <laughs> languish means what? Like, 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 just get weaker and weaker by the, by the minute. And part of that is gonna bring that is what? The famine. You know, the famine is about to come upon this place, which is uh, uh, is going to be caused by what? The hyperinflation. You know, the the, the prices, uh, 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 the cost of things going up. You know, it says the beasts of the field with the fowls of heaven. It says, yeah, the fishes of the sea shall also be taken away. Uh, that That's the food. And also, that also could go into the jobs. You know, where, where a lot of people are, hey, I just seen this article where it said that, that people are just walking away from their jobs. You know, they're not even back then like, fuck it, I need this. Now, now I was like, man, fuck it, I fuck this shit. Just walking away. Mid-shift, you know? So all, all this, we're seeing all this and it's only going to increase worse and worse, man. And and while there's still a chance, hey, turn back to the Lord or, or, or else you won't be saved. Because not no gun, no, no, no uh, uh, style of fighting, no bunker, nothing is going to save you but the covering of your how about me, how shot. And how do you get that? By, by by leaving off your ways learning the ways of the Lord that are in the scriptures and 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 and, and, and uh, applying them to the best of your ability you know uh, it's the book of uh, Ecclesiasticus also known as Sirach 5 and 7 make no tearing to turn to the Lord and put not off from day to day for suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth and in thy security thou shall be destroyed and perish in the day of vengeance when you our people are not going to expect it, man. All right, the scriptures talk about that the Lord shall come as a thief in the night. These people are going to be caught off guard. They're not going to have a chance to seek out the truth no more, man. And when they do seek out the truth, it's going to be too late. All right, the word, the, the word of the Lord, all right, the family of the word of the Lord is already here. All right, that where they're taking down videos, you have the restrictions, you have brothers talking in code. And that's the Lord stretching, out, uh, stretching his hand back. All right, the truth is just going to be done away with. Well, out here, cause they're they're gonna, you know, they're gonna, they're gonna make it to. It's impossible to please, uh, to hear the word of the Lord. Like it talks about in the book of Amos eight and eleven, you know, the famine of word, and they shall run to and fro like a like madmen, trying to seek out the truth. Yep. And they, cause he says creating all these al algorithms, man. You know, like the brother said, and soon. If, if if you're paying attention, everything is being everything is being centralized. You know, you started to see how YouTube is kind of moving like TikTok, and TikTok is moving like Instagram. And Instagram and Facebook kind of have the same the same way they operate. You know, all that because Esau wants to make it to where they control all aspects, and whenever this warning comes, it'll come out on at the same time and all and all these uh, uh, spots. You know. Like, like, you know, like you see in the movies where it's warning and everything stops and it's one message in mm -hmm. all televisions. Yeah. You know, that's how, that's how he wants to make it, you know? And when he does that, hey, you think he's going to let us, you know, be out there and preach? Nah, man. You know, so, hey, the, 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 uh, the famine of the word is literally the same thing as, 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 as the Lord coming back. Because as soon as the famine of the word happens, what, what, what's Jesus going to do? Jesus is going to come after us. And as soon as Esau lays his hands on us, the Lord is going to intervene, man. You know, so hey, everything is pointing for all that to, to happen like this. It can, it can literally happen today, mm -hmm. you know, overnight. You know, this is uh, since you brought out that uh, Sirach, this is first Thessalonians 5 and 3. For when they shall say peace and safety, mm -hmm. then sudden destruction cometh upon them as a tra as travail upon a woman or a child, and they shall not escape. You know, so you people there that, that, that are, 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 you know, cool. Uh, uh, relying on your security You know like, Okay nothing's happening You're looking outside Birds are chirping Oh everything's good you, You're relying on that And being on that That uh, 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 Docile spirit You know the, hey, when, when you're kicking When you're watching Your favorite game With a beer in your hand Kicking back Or doing the most Relaxing thing possible That's when the Lord Is going to come And blow, blow your windows out man You know mm -hmm. And you're going to be Caught butt ass naked spiritually and possibly physically, you know, not knowing what to do, not knowing where to go. 
in those days, a lot of people are going to be looking uh, for us, man. Lord willing, we're those men. They're going to be looking for us for answers. Oh, shit, they were talking about this. They were talking about that. You know? Us being the scum of the earth. Us that probably didn't finish high school. That probably, you know, used to do all kind of, you know, gang banging, drug dealing, all that. You're going to have professors, high, you know, people with degrees come look for us for answers, man. That's that's how that's how important this is, and, and, and that's how you, you need to get in tune with this, man. You know that's why you need to get in tune with this, cause nothing else is is gonna be for salvation, man. Nothing else. Esau Edom is getting ready, he's getting his guns ready, and all that. But all that all that is not is gonna be for not, man. That's not gonna save him. What it, what, what what are they gonna be do? What what is that gonna do when the Lord gives those men spiritual powers? You know? Uh, this is the book of Amos 5 and 18. What well, want to you that desire the day of the Lord? To what and is it for you? The day of the Lord is darkness and not light. Now you have people out there that are expecting the day of the Lord, but they don't know, you know, they follow what their pastors say. You know, they just go off hearing. They don't they don't put in the work, they don't even read the scriptures or touch them, they don't get the breakdowns, so they're just you know a sheep. You know, led to the slaughter. They don't know who Yahweh Bashem Yahushai really is. That he's a terrible power. You know, he's a balanced power. He's a good, he's a merciful uh, power and a fearful power at that too. You know, so it says, as if, a, as if a man did flee from a lion and a bear met him, or went into the house and leaned his hand up, and leaned his hand on the wall and a serpent bit him. Shall not the day of the Lord be darkness and not light? Every even very dark. And no brightness in it. That's how. That's how. A shit's gonna hit the fan in that day. Every corner you take, there's gonna be trouble waiting for you right there. Probably worse than the last. But that's why we need the covering of Yahweh by Shimei Oshai to get a to a receive mercy, man, and salvation. Because there's no one that's gonna save us but the Lord. Yep. Uh, safety is, is is of the Lord. You know what? I'm gonna get that right quick. So like it. Uh. This is Proverbs 21 and 31. It says, the horse is prepared against the day of battle, right? So everybody, you know, back then when they used to battle, used to prepare the horse, prepare the armor and all that, right? It says, but safety is of the Lord, man, of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Ultimately, if you don't have that covering, you're going to be vulnerable to everything the Lord uh, brings upon this place, man. Nothing is going to save you but the covering of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. You know? Mm -hmm. um, I have another one. Sure. This is Sirach 16 and 11. It says, And if there be one stiff neck among the people, it is marble if he escape unpunished. It says, For mercy and wrath are with him. He is mighty to forgive and to pour out displeasure, man. So just because the Lord right now is not really putting out his full force, don't think that this is it. This is all he could do. Nah, man. Hey, once once he already said, you know, uh, gives the famine of the word, hey, it's nothing but judgment coming, man. You're gonna see that. You're not gonna see that merciful side anymore from the Lord. You're gonna you're gonna see mostly judgment and people getting destroyed, man, in the most horrific ways. You know. You're gonna see the purge ain't gonna be at theaters no more, man. The purge is gonna be outside your house. Mm -hmm. You know? It's the book of uh, Proverbs 1 and 20. Wisdom crieth without, she uttereth her, her voice in the streets. She crieth in the chief place of concourse, in the opening of the gates. In the city, she uttereth her words, saying, How long will ye simple ones, will ye love uh, simplicity? And the scorn is light in their scorning. And fools hate knowledge because the word is out there. The brother is still able to prophesy, you know, week in and week out through the work of the Lord and and you and your people's faces, man. We were able to hear it, but you people are are still despising the call from the Lord because you're not despise. When you see the prophets of the Lord, you're not despising those men. You're despising the Lord because there's a, the prophets are the messengers of the Lord. It says, uh, "Turn you, turn you at my reproof." I will pour out my spirit unto you. I will make known my words unto you. Because I have called and you refuse. I have stretched out my hand and no man regarded. That's the Lord is stretching out his hand. By the by his servants of prophets. And you're, you're scoffing them man. You don't want to take heed. 
Well, let's, you know, this is the judgment for you, you know, for you simple ones that want to neglect the truth. It says, verse 25, but ye have said not at all my counsel and will none of my reproof. I will also laugh your calamity. I will mock when your fear cometh. When your fear cometh as a desolation and your destruction cometh as a whirlwind, when distress and anguish cometh upon you, then shall they call upon me. So that, that shows you how wicked our people are, man. That they're going to get it right when when they're catching hell. When we're supposed to be worship, uh, worshiping Yahweh by Shimeon Shot in good and bad. Yeah, uh, uh, in good and bad. But that's the story of our people, man. You know, when you read the Bible, it's always happened. They, it, you know, they, they're in trouble. They call unto the Lord. Now, okay, for, for a little while, they're, they're righteous again. Then once the Lord hasn't done anything, they're back to being wicked. Then they're in trouble again. Then, okay, I'm sorry, Lord. But no, the Lord ain't looking for that, man. The Lord is looking for sincere individuals that are, that are willing to repent and keep it that way. Not just when something bad is happening, but somebody who's willing to consider and be like, you know what? Just because things are good doesn't mean that I can fuck around. Because mm -hmm. the Lord could bring judgment at any time. You know, that's what he's looking for, man. That's why a lot of these people, when that happens and they want to repent and all that, some of them might have mercy, you know, but most of them are not. Mm -hmm. You know, most of them are going to get uh, destroyed, man. The Lord is going to is going to be like, look, I, I called. Why? Why weren't you? You know, you, you thought being a, 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 a having a hot girl summer was more important. You thought selling drugs uh, 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 on the block to your niggas, to your own people was more important than serving. Me. Now you want to come? Nah, bro. Deal, deal, deal with the fruits of your labor, man. Mm -hmm. You know, because everybody's going to deal with whatever uh, work they put in, man. You know? Contrary to how this society makes people think, there is consequences to your actions. And the Lord is going to make everybody know that when he comes, man. Mm -hmm. This says verse uh, 28. They shall they call upon me, but I will not answer. They shall seek me early, but they shall not find me. For ye, for the ye hated knowledge and did not, and did not chose the fear of the Lord. They will not in my counsel. They despise all of my all my reproof. So there you go, man. Don't come seeking the uh, the truth now. The Lord is not gonna give it to you, man. And if you do, hey, then that means you are a part of the hopeful elect, you know. Because everybody else in that day, they're not gonna get it. Hey, the truth is gonna be hidden from them. The prophets are not gonna uh, be speaking no more because it'll target them. You know, it says what the scriptures talk about: that should, uh, their tongue shall cleave to the roof of their mouth. You know. That, uh, yep. that they, they're not going to prophesy to just anybody, you know? It's going to be put on them by the Spirit of the Lord to do so in that day. Because we're not, we're, not, we're going to be on, on uh, as pilgrims, mm -hmm. you know? We're just going to be with really either by ourselves or other brothers. We're not going to be around individuals, you know? See, you don't want to take that chance because for the most part, it's going to be very, very few. Like the scriptures do talk, does, they, it does talk about men coming in the last hour but you don't want to you, you want to make sure you're you're be, be, there before you know because that that you might not even make it in the last hour man you know hey whoever the lord shows mercy in in the last hour hey call hello you how about how shy you know but you you want you want to make sure you Make your calling an election share, man. Don't don't take. Oh, well, I might be the one that gets in the last hour. He's gonna fuck around. Nah, man. It's, especially if you have that attitude, you're definitely not gonna be saved in the last hour, right? Sure. Because if yeah. I can read this, this is the book of Zechariah, thirteen and eight. And it shall come to pass that in all the land, saith the Lord, two parts therein shall be cut off and die, but the third shall be left therein. And the scriptures talk about the nation of Israel being as the sand of the sea; they can't be numbered. So two parts of our nation are going to be cut off and die. That's a that's a big chunk of our nation. And you know, like the brothers say, you don't want to take that chances, man. You don't want to tempt the Lord thinking that you can serve him last minute. Yep. Because the Lord, hey, the Lord, and it says, I wish, the scriptures talk about that he will show uh, mercy on whom he will show, uh, show mercy and show compassion on whom he ever wants to show compassion in. You know, you don't want to take that chance because that's a big part of our nation that's going to be cut off. Very few are going to be saved. All right, like the brothers, uh, the brothers say, one hundred and forty-four thousand of his elect is not a lot of, is not a, uh, a lot compared to na to the nation of Israel. It says, oh, yeah. it says, and I will bring the third part through the fire, and I will refine them as silver, as silver is refined, and I will try them as gold is tried. They shall call on my name, and they, and they, sh it's like it, they shall call on my name, and I will hear them. 
I will say it is my people, and they shall say the Lord is my power, because hey, the Lord, the the the, the servant of the Lord, a true servant to the Lord, are gonna serve the Lord in, in as much as they can, man, wholeheartedly. You know, they're gonna keep the laws to the best of their ability. They're not gonna lean upon their flesh. You know, they're hey, they're gonna they're gonna keep on fighting for the Lord because it said that uh. Um, and I will refi I'll refine them as silver and gold is refined. You know, Lord's gonna purify us, take all that, all that, you know, uh, bullshit out of us, you know, that we learned in the world. Now the Lord is refining us as a new man.